So I just got off the phone call with a first time buyer and they're going to wait to buy to save up more down payment and more than 3% down payment and I wanted to share with you that even you have 20% down payment saved up right now if you're a young buyer if the interest rate is close to 3% and you're thinking about investing some in real estate if I was the first time buyer I wouldn't put all that 20% down payment toward a house right now and I'm going to share with you why that is hey my name is Sean Yu and uh, I own a company called Sean Realty in Portland Oregon if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe so you can be notified and this video can be pushed to more first time buyers like you maybe so the big question, PMI, right? Private mortgage insurance, PMI. The main question is to avoid $300 a, a month, $3,500, $3,600 a year. To save that, people are thinking, or our parents' generation have told our kids, I mean, our younger generation to save up 20% at least put down as much as you can to a house so you can do better financially that thinking was right 30 years ago when the interest rate used to be really high 8, 9, 10, 15, 16% interest rate you want to pay down as much as possible as a down payment so you pay less on interest now, when the interest rate is so low, like these days, 3%, putting down more on down payment doesn't make sense because it will force you to be more house poor because more of your money, chunk of your money will go toward the house and sit in the house as equity and you're not going to see that money until you either re refi, cash out, refi, or sell that property now personally my opinion is that when you buy real estate it's better to hold on to it like multiple properties that's how you build wealth so just to talk about that again when the interest rate is really high like 10% yeah good idea to put down more close to 20% to do better in the long run you, you don't pay as much interest over time when the interest rate is so low like these days that thinking that theory put down more toward down payment to avoid PMI that is not good because to save up $100,000 to buy a $500,000 home that's typically like almost getting close to first time buyers market in Portland Metro right now 3% is $15,000, 20% is $100,000. To save up $100,000, let's say, eh, I'm just wondering how fast just regular double income couple can take to save that up. Let's say uh, each individual husband and wife making $100,000 and 10% saving can be kind of hard. Let's say hypothetically $20,000. You got to save five years to save this. Now in the current market, if you start right now to save up that and wait five years, the $500,000 home will more likely become minimum 30% above. What's 30%? Uh, that's $150,000 more so this $500,000 home becomes $650,000 and in five years now you your $100,000 isn't 20% anymore because that was $500,000 20% 20% of that is $125,000 so you gotta save up another $25,000 that means another year so six years of saving do you see what I'm saying here so to save up three like let's just say four you know uh, $300 a month you're going to wait six years and you're going to let the house price 
take off to 650 and you just lost $150,000. $150,000 divided by $300 a month, let's say just $4,000 a year, that's a lot of money lost. So why would you wait that long and let the home price just take off and losing out on that opportunity? I mean, this is um, a theory based on home prices keep going up, which in the foreseeable future, it is going to, at least in the Portland metro market. Because in the last um, about three, four years, we've been seeing double digit appreciation, anywhere between 11 to 15%. Every year, home prices have been going up. So waiting to save that and try to catch that price and then you ended up paying more. So do you see where I'm going? My advice to you is buy now as little as possible. $15,000 saving, you could probably do it within a year. And get into a real estate market, own something as soon as you can so you don't pay the rent. And then you can uh, taste the equity building because home price keeps going up take advantage of the lower home price and at the same time opportunity cost what is opportunity cost instead of putting $85,000 extra toward this let's hypothetically think that now we have already saved about 20% Instead of putting all that toward the house that you're not going to see until you sell or refi, why not use um, $85,000 toward something else? Put that into a, like Warren Buffett says, just put it in the index fund and just forget about it. You could probably make 8% every year if you did that. So why would you not do that? Even though you don't know anything about stock market, just put it in index fund or something like that, let the robo-advising, computer index, whatever, and have them take care of it, you're going to gain 8% of that $85,000. That's way better than 3% of interest, mortgage interest. You're 5% making more money every year. It, and it compounds that too. So, I hope this, this makes sense. This makes sense to you. It doesn't make sense to me anymore when pe people say, I want to put down uh, 20%. When you want to put down 20%, either when the interest rate is super high, or when the price isn't going up as fast as right now, or you're close to retirement age, that you don't want to have a lot of mortgage payment, then I can understand. Because I think if you buy a home with a cash, or put down 80%, 50%, your monthly mortgage payment will be much smaller than you can budget your retirement you know, months and years. But if you're younger than, I say, 50, even 55 years old or younger, I wouldn't buy a house with a big down payment like it used to when it made sense when the interest rate was high. Oh, I think that makes, I hope that makes sense to you. And I feel like I'm now repeating myself. So don't let any other uh, real estate industry people, mortgage people, or your uncle telling you put down 20%, save up money to buy a house. Don't listen to them. Things have changed. Back then they didn't have, uh, we didn't have even crypto market crypto market is probably a better place put like one person like put put I don't know $1,000 into a crypto market assume that you could lose the, the whole thing tomorrow but the upside could be really good I'm not a financial advisor so don't listen to me about that but my point is that you gotta leverage your capital to do the work such as getting index fund 8% annual return and do 5% better than putting all that money into house. So I'm going to quit now because otherwise I'll be repeat this, uh, repeating this two more times. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. My name is Sean Yu. I do Portland real estate. If you have any questions, please let me know and hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.